Seeing Shadow feasting on his fish, Chance feels the urge and splashes into the river, wanting to catch fish, too. However, luck doesn't favor him, and the silly dog only manages to catch a crawfish, which clamps onto his face, causing him to scream in pain. Chance is a newcomer to the family, whereas Ben and Sassy, the cat, have been with their owners for ages. As a formerly abandoned dog, he never feels at ease after being adopted. On the day when everyone is happy and gathered for their mother's wedding, Chance hides in the bedroom, busily tearing clothes into pieces. His snarling soon annoys Sassy, who walks in to confront him and demands quietness, but Chance insists, and shortly, a cat and dog fight echoes inside and outside the house, causing furrowed brows among the wedding crowd. The dog is never shy about sowing his wild oats, while Shadow and Sassy behave well at the wedding lunch. Chance busies himself, looking for food, seeing the poor dog shoot away by the guests. Sassy even tries to teach him how to become a favored dog. Sometime later, everyone gathers to enjoy the wedding cake. However, to their dismay, Chance buries his head in the cake and even lets out a loud burp when he finishes. Afterward, he sneaks forward to launch a surprise attack on Sassy, who is busy playing on the seesaw with the girl. As expected, the cat is thrown into the air and crashes into the sand pond enraging the girl. Just then, the father tells everyone to hit the road. The family embarks on a road trip, with everyone resting soundly. However, Chance pokes his head out of the car window and reflects on his life as a dog and whether he feels happier with the family. The family arrives at a remote farmhouse far from their home. Chance can't help but feel more than happy upon smelling the fresh air, and he even starts chasing after a flock of chickens, instantly creating more chaos. After some chit-chat, the family departs, but this time, they leave behind the dogs and the cat. The kids bid farewell to their pets, leaving Shadow and Sassy bewildered by what's happening, except for Chance, who knows he has experienced this before. Shadow becomes lost in thought, wondering why the family left, while Chance's energy never seems to run out. Upon hearing the call for food, he dashes back to the house but gets hooked by the woman who tells him to wait. When he finally gets his favorite kibbles, the dog forgets everything around him and eventually finishes Sassy's food. The days on the big farm excite Chance, where he can play with pigs, chickens, and horses. He tells the other two that the family is long gone and will never return, and they should accept this fact and just be happy. His words infuriate Shadow and Sassy, who insist it's not true. Later, when the family calls to check on them, Shadow becomes even grumpier upon hearing they won't return for another two weeks. The next day, the woman assigned to care for the three departs from the farm and goes somewhere else for a few days. Her sudden departure makes Shadow deeply feel that something is wrong, and he decides to run back home to find out the truth. Despite Chance and Sassy telling him that they've already been abandoned, the dog springs to a stump and jumps robustly out of the fence. Sassy instantly follows suit, even though she doesn't like the idea. Chance swiftly warns them to stay put because that's how dogs get caught at the pound, which only leads to death. However, Chance's worst nightmare, the Birdzilla, suddenly lunges at him from the corner, making him stagger and flee. The three embark on their journey back home, thousands of miles away. Shadow, as the team leader, reassures them they will see home as long as they cross the mountain. Without daring to pause, the trio keeps climbing until they finally reach the mountain top only to be devastated when they realize that one mountain is just the beginning of a long stretch of more challenges ahead. Chance and Sassy decide to stop the trip from there, but Shadow is so determined that his owner has no way to abandon him. Unable to resist the stubborn dog, they surrender and start crossing the continuous mountains. The trio passes daily by plains, streams, and woods. Wind bustles among the trees emitting scary sounds, but they stick together to rest the nights. As family pets who are not the wild materials, they often struggle to get food. With Sassy's help, the dogs finally feast on fish one morning. Upon getting food, Chance forgets the impending danger that might approach in the wild and starts sowing his wild oats. Suddenly, a giant brown bear appears behind them, freaking the shit out of him and running away without having a bite of his food. They shortly arrive at a tumbling stream, where it's the only road ahead to cross to continue their journey. However, as a cat afraid of water, Sassy refuses to wet herself and decides to find her way out. She shuttles among the wood and eventually finds the rocks to jump across the river. As she's about to reach the land, the branches crack, resulting in the cat immediately being washed into the rapid torrential. Shadow hastily jumps into the torrent to save her, but it's already too late, as she's already washed away. Chance soon joins the rescue, 
and they reach the torrent bottom but find Sassy is already swallowed up. After the incident, Shadow falls into a deep self-blame, regretting having brought Sassy along and put her in danger. Chance respects the old dog for the first time and slightly understands family and responsibility. The following morning, the left two silently stand by the fall to bid farewell to Sassy and depart again to return home. Hunger continues to strike them, but due to Chance's lame hunting skill, they lose one prey after another. Unable to teach Chance to be smarter, Shadow decides to go on hunting himself, he puts his head directly under the water to catch fish. Suddenly, Chance muffles to alert him that a cougar is approaching to pursue them. However, the old dog thinks Chance overreacts due to fish and returns to catch fish again. Just then, the cougar fiercely gnarls his teeth, springing over, freaking out the dogs. Two dogs flee to the cliff's edge, panicking, not knowing what to do. The cougar leisurely walks toward them. As the boss of the jungle, dealing with two pet dogs is just an easy job to get done with. Unbeknownst to him, Shadow and Chance are well prepared. Shadow lures the cougar to the cliff's edge, and Chance patiently ambushes there. Once the big cat arrives, they play the seesaw game again, instantly crashing him down to the lake. Chance feels excited and howls to celebrate their first ever teamwork victory. On the other hand, an old man discovers Sassy at her last gasp on the stream shore. He immediately brings the cat home, cleaning and warming her up, with thoughts of reuniting with her dog siblings. Sassy eventually makes it through the night. The old man offers her some milk to drink and pets her outside while bathing under the sunshine. Suddenly, Sassy hears the familiar barkings echoing among the woods, which she recognizes belong to Chance and Shadow. The cat instantly runs away and finally reunites with them. With Sassy's return, the dogs finally have fish to eat. They sit by the lakeside, reminiscing about the memories with the family. Chance finally realizes that after the crazy journey, he just wants to stick with his owner, but he gets carried away again upon seeing a hedgehog. Ignoring Shadow's warning, he adheres to himself to the animal. In the next second, the dog yelps because his face is poked with the hedgehog's spines. Sassy tries to take the spines off his face but causes the dog to growl more in pain. The woman returns to the farm and finds all three are gone. She immediately calls the family to inform them. The missing news leaves the kids all devastated. Peter storms out of the house, thinking his stepfather is a jerk unwilling to offer help. Little does he know, the man has secretly made the lost dog flyers everywhere and hopes to bring the kids some good news. Chance and his group come across another stream again which obviously has become everyone's nightmare. Just then, Shadow hears a girl's crying and runs to check. The girl hugs him into her arms to seek comfort. The trio takes turns caring for the girl for the night when they suddenly hear humans' voices. Chance warns Shadow not to go out as they will definitely end up in the pound, but the old dog persists. Shadow barks loudly and leads the crowd to their location. The woman with uniforms suddenly recognizes the three as the dog missing flyers are posted on every corner of the city. However, the uniforms freak Chance out, and to verify his worst nightmares, they are indeed sent to a pound. Upon arriving, the dogs try hard to break free but end up with Shadow put on a muzzle, and Chance is directly pulled to the backroom, thinking he's doomed the next second. Sassy seizes the chance to run away and hides in the bush. Shadow is locked into the cage, where he finally understands what Chance has always discussed, the pound. Sassy dodges the catch and sneaks into the pound, freeing Shadow. They peer from outside the window and see Chance placed on the operation table, groaning in pain like he'll be dead the next second. The old dog helps him to flee, and eventually, the trio outsmarts the humans, escaping from impending danger. The family and the pets don't know that they've crossed paths right before the pound gate. The kids are heartbroken knowing their pets run away again, but the father assures them that they won't give up. Days after, the group finally reaches the mountaintop, where they see their home is just right in front. Scruffy like stray dogs, they cross the bustling railways under Shadow's lead. Everyone is happy that they are just one step closer back home. But suddenly, Shadow falls into a hollow construction, seriously injured instantly. Upon waking up, he tries to climb up but fails after many attempts. Shadow finally gives up, preparing to wait there to die, as he knows he's already old enough. In the last moment, Chance confesses his love to the old dog and bravely jumps into the hole rescuing Shadow no matter how hard it is. Meanwhile, the family also returns home, hoping their dogs and cat will find their way back someday. Suddenly, a distant bark rises, with the boy calling Chance's name, the dog happily runs toward them, surprising the family. Sassy then follows behind to the girl's hug. After some anxious waiting, 
everyone finally sees Shadow slowly limp toward them. At last, for the first time in his dog life, Chance can proudly say he is home, a place where each gets his back with the other loved ones. If you like my channel or enjoy watching me dance, please leave a comment in the comment section saying dance, Adam.